Hey, guys, I wonder how many of you have a favorite blanket? Well, I do, and as a matter of fact, I brought my favorite blanket with me. Now, it's not a blanket I sleep with, but it's a blanket that I look at real often, and I, I want to bring it and show it to you because it's very, very special. matter of fact, I'm going to unfold it. And what you see are 12 of my favorite vacation Bible schools. Each one has a very special meaning and has a very special place in my heart because in each one of these 12 vacation Bible schools, we got to see a lot of boys and girls just like you who came to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And you know, vacation Bible school is so important and and my heart has been greatly disappointed this year, but who knows? The Lord's in control, and we'll just see what he might have in store for us sometime here in the future. But these remind me of how important it is. They also remind me of something else. Every time I look at them, I, I think about the gospel. I, I think about how Jesus died on the cross for our sins, how he arose that third day. Uh, oh, my goodness. And how exciting it is just to know that I'm his child. But there's something else about this blanket that's very special. And I want you to see this as well. On the other side is scripture. The word of God. You know, I don't know if you have any, anything in your home or maybe in your room or, or maybe in one of your books or something that, that has Bible verses, has scripture. Well, that's really important because when we have that, that visible scripture in front of us, maybe hanging on the wall, maybe in our, one of our books, mine is on my blanket. And it reminds me of some very important things. One of the things it reminds me of that I don't have to worry, that I'm to do everything by prayer and supplication. And I know that we're living in some difficult times, and you, you're aware of that. But we don't have to worry. We just have to pray and just know that God is in control of all things. So I don't know if you have a favorite blanket or what you may have, but somewhere put the Word of God in front of you so it is a constant reminder that He is in control. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity that you give us. We thank you for your precious word and how it reminds us of you and how we can reflect on that word and how you use that word in a very special way. And I just want to pray for all the boys and girls that might be listening to my voice that have had a chance to look at my blanket just to be reminded of how important your word is. And we don't have to worry. We just simply pray and trust you. And we ask this in Jesus' name, amen.